Right now we're going to be going over the setup of a Televic Confidio wired and wireless combination conferencing system. We've got a couple components here. We've got this block power supply. This is your power supply for your 80-R audio engine, which is down here. Then we have a network switch in the middle. And on top we have our wireless access point for the wireless conference mics. So to get started, we're going to go from our power supply using this connector type into either of the two power ports on the back of the AE-R. You can actually add in a second power supply for redundancy back here if you'd like. And then just note there is a power switch on this block. I'm going to want to make sure that gets flipped on and we can move that aside because we don't need to do anything else with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and power on our, our AE-R. Normally I would recommend hooking everything up uh, before powering it on. Uh, for this video's purposes I'm switching it on so that we can watch the ports light up as we make the connections, uh, but recommended best practices go ahead and hook everything up before you turn the power on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to network all the devices together. So we're going to come out of the LAN port of each of our boxes. So we'll start with the AE-R. And then we're going to go into our network switch. There you see we've got some lights, so we've got network activity. We're going to do the same thing with our wireless access point. You want to make sure it is the LAN port that's got a little picture of networked computers and not the ones labeled port 1 or port 2. Those are our Plexus ports. And go ahead and connect that in. Then I've got my laptop over off camera with a network cable plugged into it. We're just going to go ahead and plug that in as well. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that our wireless access point can talk not only to the computer but to our AE-R on the Plexus network. So we're going to do that by using either port 1 or port 2 on the wireless access point. And then choosing port 1, 2, 3, or 4 on the back of our AE-R. You just want to make sure with these dip switches here that whichever port you are using, it's flipped to the on position. You do have the ability to switch particular chains off if you know you're not going to use them. I've got all of mine on, so it doesn't really matter which one in particular we use. I already have the power switch on the on position for the wireless access point, so we're seeing it begin to light up. Then the last thing you can do is take any of your wired daisy chains of conference microphones in your meeting space, and you can start hooking the chain up to any of the other available ports. 20 microphones per chain. So we could do that here, run up to 20. We've got it lit up with our first microphone attached off camera. And then we've got 20 and 20 here. If you needed to add more, you can add in network extenders to grow the system to literally 1,000 wired microphones. Then from here, we're ready to go to our browser and start our process, such as initialization or frequency selection for the wireless microphones, or a variety of other things you can do from the web browser. There are additional videos available on that for you to check out for each particular item. Thanks for watching. And for additional information, please visit www.televic-conference.com. Thanks.